Okay, so this question, um, question seven, it's from a 2017 paper, uh, and it's obviously uh, about assembly language. So normally on these questions, they do give you the assembly language uh, reference sheet in the paper and in this case they did as well so you've got the assembly language to work with there but it can look a bit daunting but once we start to think about what we want to do i think we'll probably see hopefully that it, it is not so bad um, so it shows an incomplete assembly language program it's, it's intended purpose is to count from one to ten inclusive uh, writing the values to memory location 17 uh, and it says which is used to control a motor which you know we don't really care too much about that what it's controlling but uh, we're just going to write them to that memory location so we've got some code already so uh, the first bit of code we've got is um, is move so we've got move r naught hash one so if we look across at where it says move uh, we've got move um rd operand 2 and we're copying the value specified by operand 2 into the register d uh, so register we're looking for is r naught so if we write down r naught at this side um r naught is going to take the value of one because the hash there means that uh, it's a direct number so it's directly one not an address so the value of one gets stored into register naught. So then we've got a label that's called start loop, which uh, suggests to us that we're going to have a loop. And we've got another label down here called end loop. So these two labels inside here, we're going to have this loop uh, idea. Excuse my wiggly line. So we've started the loop, or at least we've got a label for doing so. So the next command is str017. str is for store. So str rd memory reference, store the value that is in re the register, register D, into the memory location. So if we've got um, uh, location 17, and this is RAM, remember, then that's then going to take the value of, of 1 as well. So one has gone into memory location 17. So then we need a bit more code then to allow us to count up. So there's a few different ways of doing it, but probably um, the best way to do it is to use an add. So if we add um, R naught and uh, R naught, and uh, the, what we want to add is a one because we want to add one more to it because it says to count up from one to 10. So add R naught, R naught one. So if we look at add, we've got R, D, R, N. So two registers, add the value specified in the operand to the value in the register N, that's this one, and store it in this register. So we're taking the value that's in R1, which currently is one, and we're adding one to it and so r1 r0 register r0 becomes two so that's become two uh then we want to decide well what do we want to do next we want to loop really next because we've added one to it but we need to put a line in to decide you know, whether we need to loop again or not so that line is going to be a compare cmp we're going to compare uh, R naught, so what's in register R naught with the number 11 because we want to count up to 10. So if we got to 11, then we're finished, so we don't want to go any further. Uh, and then we can we've done the comparing. So if if this compares to 11, we want to do one thing, if it doesn't, branch if not equal to. Um, branch if not equal to and if we look at the branch condition here we can branch to a label and we can have equal to not equal to less than or greater than so if branch if it's not equal to and we're going to the label start loop start loop so that means it's going to take us back up to here again 
Um, and, and that's essentially our code. So if we just step through that a bit to have a look what happens. So we've we've added one here and it's become two in register naught. So then we've compared register naught with 11. Branch if not equal to, well, it's not equal to. So we're going back to start loop and we're going to store what's in our naught into 17. So the RAM location then takes the value of two. We're going to add another one onto the register that becomes three. Compare again, well, it's not 11, so it's branch if not equal to, we're going back up here. Three will go into the RAM, four, et cetera, et cetera. Four will go into the RAM here until we get to um, this figure being 11. When that figure's 11, we're going to be comparing R0 with 11 branch if not equal to well it is equal to now so we're ending the loop and halting so we stop there so we end up with the biggest number in ram in location 17 being 10 because we never go back and add that extra one on it doesn't get stored back into memory so the register counts up all the way to 11 and then we stop the ram will count all the way up to 10 and then we'll stop there and so that's the answer to that. There are more than one answer. You could do other answers to this. There are different ways of doing it, but I think this one's probably the easiest to understand.